Okay, y'all. So people in the world are like, love yourself. You got to love yourself. You can't love nobody until you love yourself. Love yourself first. And it has become this thing that's like the truth. Listen, that is half truth, half lies right there because you're omitting a very key part of that equation. Yes, the truth is you cannot love your neighbor as yourself, as the Bible says. Love your neighbor as yourself unless you love yourself first, right? Because if you hate yourself, how are you going to love your neighbor as yourself? You can't. So the key part that they're missing here is you got to know you. You can't love somebody you don't know, okay? You could say up and down every day, I know me, I know me, I know that I love cheese and I love peanut butter with cheese or whatever, some people have that stuff or whatever, or I, I like to, you know, do something weird. You can know yourself in that way, but at the end of the day, when we were in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve, sin, before sin came into the world, Adam and Eve, they were chilling with God. They were having fun with God. They were walking with God. They were having face-to-face -face conversations with God. There was no separation. There was no distance between us and God. It was literally a, an amazing relationship, okay? What happened when sin came into the world? Sin separates us from God, okay? That's what the Bible says. Since, and actually, the, the, the angels, they had these flaming swords. And God, once he said, he, he talked to them about their sin, he said, I have to separate you from me. But he had that mind, that plan in mind i'm going to send my son to bridge the gap so that we can be together again even though they sinned i can bridge the gap again so this is what happened right when we were separated from our creator we were also separated from nature so we're not hanging out with the animals like the lions and uh, like like adam you know he named all the animals we're separated from nature we're separated from each other man and woman husband and wife they're now you know, combating each other. That's part of the whole thing if you read Genesis. And we are separated from God and then we're separated from ourselves because we lost our identity. You cannot know yourself unless you know who created you. You cannot know your worth unless you know how much God was willing to pay for you on that cross. That you were made in God's image. You're not just an animal. No, we did not evolve from monkeys, okay? This is ridiculous. Who would even want to believe that? Anyways, we are created in God's own image, not just the way he looks, but his nature. And so you need to know God before you can know you and you can't love somebody you don't know. So you need to know you, you need to know your identity. So you need to know God before you can love yourself. Also, how can somebody love unless they know love? And baby, let me tell you something. Love is literally personified here love god is love that's what the bible says okay god is love in first john 4 7 to 8 it says beloved let us love one another for love is from god and whoever loves has been born of god okay if you're born again baby you love it's instinctual i used to say i hate people now i love people it's crazy but god did that who ha whoever loves has been born of god and knows god you know god anyone who does not know love does not know god because god is love if you don't know love then you don't know god because god is love love and god are the same thing boo boo it's the same thing okay so here it is mark 12 29 to 31 here it is okay here's the equation guys the most important is this is jesus speaking the most important is here O israel the lord your god our god is one and you shall love the lord your god with all your heart with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength and the second is this you shall love your neighbor as yourself there is no other greater commandment greater than these boom they were talking about all the ten commandments Jesus is like, you can sum up all the Ten Commandments and all the commandments in two commandments. Love God and love your neighbor. Because if you love your neighbor, baby, you're not going to lie to them. You're not going to steal from them. You're not going to kill them. You're not going to cheat on them. All that. That's all in the commandments. It's all about love. Law of love. Okay, so it says, first, love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Then love your neighbor as yourself. So first, you need to love God before you can love your neighbor as yourself. That's the equation here. There's a difference between having self-love Loving your neighbor as yourself 
and knowing your identity in God and walking with confidence, not pride, not cockiness, walking in confidence. Like, honey, I got angels right beside me. I know who I am. I know that I'm a child of God. I know that I'm royalty. Humbly, I know that because of what Jesus did for me on the cross. I know that if God is for me, who can be against me? My coworker, the CEO, nobody. Nobody can be against you. Nobody. Nobody. God is going to defend you up and down, side to side. He is by you. He is beside you. He's with you. He will never leave or forsake you. You got to know your identity. You got to know you. You got to know that you're to die for. On the cross, God show you you're to die for. <laughs> you're to die for. That's how much you're worth. You have a purpose in this life. Why would Jesus die for somebody that didn't have a purpose? Baby, you have a purpose. God put you here for a purpose. Without knowing God, you don't know your purpose because he's the one that gave you the purpose. How are you going to know the plan unless you go to the one that has the plan? You, you have a purpose. Come to God. He'll show you. He'll lead you. He'll guide you. If you let him. But if you're stubborn, you don't, you know, and you're like, I got this. I got this. You know. He can't help you there. He's not going to force himself on you. God is a gentleman. Right? He doesn't control. He gives us free will and a choice. So... 1 John 4, 19, we love because he first loved us. I have learned to love my enemies because God has loved me when I was his enemy. God has forgiven me in moments where I have done so much wrong, baby. I have done so much wrong and God has loved me. And I've been like, oh my gosh, God, I cannot believe you're forgiving me time and time again for the same thing until I'm being set free. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know how you love me past all of this. I'm so unlovable, but you still love me. And when you understand how much you've been forgiven, you want to give out that forgiveness and mercy. You just do. You just do. You want to give it out. So the, the Bible says in the last days, people will be lovers of themselves. Okay? Lovers of themselves. There's a difference between loving yourself and being a lover of yourself. Because when you're a lover of yourself, think of a lover. You idolize them. It's all about them. You give your life for them. You do everything they want to do. You forget your friends for them. It's all them. When you're a lover of yourself, you're your own God. It's all about you. When you love yourself, you love yourself in a way that you love yourself the way that God loves you. You don't hate yourself. You don't have that self-condemnation, that insecurity that you walk about with all those insecurities in your head. No, because you know you're not any of those things. You are what God says you are, not even what your insecurities say you are. You're not what people say you are. Who cares what people say? Let them talk. Let them say whatever. Let them think whatever. You know how many people think I'm crazy and, and, and too out there and bold and whatever? Yes, they do. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. You know why? Because God showed me, gave me revelation. I used to be so insecure. God gave me, it's not about being cocky. You can't be cocky, right? If you're walking with the Lord, you got to be humble. But it's about being confident in who you are, your identity in Jesus Christ. You are made in the image of God Almighty, the creator of the universe, the one that made Adams, the one that made it freaking nebula and, 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 and the stars in the sky and the Milky Way. He made it all. He made Adams. He, 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 hello, this is the coolest thing in the world. This is, this is why I'm doing these videos because I want you guys, I, I wish I could download my mind into your mind. So you could understand how, how amazing it is, how much of an opportunity and privilege it is to have God as your friend. He calls you friend. Come on. Come on. He will teach you to love. He is love. He will teach you to love your enemies. He will teach you to love yourself. If you have hate for yourself, if you felt like killing yourself, listen to me. Don't do that. Don't do that. God loves you and there's hope for you.